Good morning on this Palm Sunday. You're listening to a live broadcast from Lutheran Memorial Church in Pierre. Lutheran Memorial is located at the corner of Nicolette and Prospect, just west of our state capitol building. Today's radio broadcast is sponsored by Jalen Schmitz in honor of her and her husband Chad's ninth wedding anniversary. Our pastor at Lutheran Memorial is Craig Wexler. There'll be special music this morning by our youth choir singing a Palm Sunday cantata. Today's organist is Lori Kennecke. Hymn numbers this morning are 344, 351, 679, and 347. Our worship service is about to begin, and our opening hymn will be All Glory, Laud, and Honor, number 344 in the ELW hymnal. Good morning. morning. Hosanna. 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 Hosanna Hosanna in the highest on this beautiful spring morning. Amen. 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 Winter weather advisory outside. It is glorious, right? So, uh, but we need the moisture. So absolutely no complaints there from my end. I don't know about you guys. I've had enough prayer requests in regards to the weather. I say God taught you how to pray too. Amen. Amen. So you guys take it to the Lord how you want, but uh, he will do as he will do. I'm glad to have you guys here on this Palm Sunday morning. Uh, today you are in for a special treat. The kids are going to give us the gospel in music and song, and Rod has been working hard with them for a couple months now at least, and uh, I look forward to it as well. Um, we have now officially entered Holy Week, and this week uh, what is in store on Monday, Thursday, we do have a meal down in the fellowship hall. Uh, Kelly and the youth team have coordinated. It's going to be meatball subs and all downstairs. That starts, I think it's 5.30. Kelly's at 5.30 on Thursday? 5. 5. We're starting at 5. And uh, so uh, come on down for a meal in the fellowship hall. If you're willing to give a free will donation, that all proceeds help support our high schoolers going to West Virginia this summer. Um, immediately following that is our Monday Thursday worship service at 7 p.m. Um, our fourth grade families, they will be receiving their first Holy Communion, so hold them in prayer. And on Good Friday, also at 7 p.m., lots of special music, and uh, it's, it's honestly my fir- uh, favorite worship service in all of the year to give. So uh, that, uh, both those services are 7 p.m. Easter Sunday is 8.30 and 10.30, not 9, 8.30 and 10.30, and uh, for any family members wondering, the live stream and radio will be at the 8.30 service as well. So uh, with that being said, without further ado, I invite those who are able, let us rise together. Let us come together. And uh, before our confession forgiveness, I do want to give this one other announcement. She gave me her permission. Uh, Thelma, Thelma, wave your hand back there. Thelma and Jason are the ones that make the cinnamon rolls and the caramel rolls all the time for us, which are out in the narthex for you to eat. Thelma uh, shared with me the great announcement. She officially received her citizenship two weeks ago. Uh, Yes, absolutely. A round of applause for her. I know that's been weighing on her and Jason for a long time, so welcome, Thelma. Thank you for that. And she gets to give her oath at Mount Rushmore in June. So hold her in prayer and congratulate her when you get a chance. Let us join together. Let us confess our sins. Let us receive the good news that God promises us in his words of mercy. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and one another. We begin with a moment of silence to reflect on our needs. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. 
Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may walk in your way and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our gathering hymn is all glory, law, and honor. Wave your palms in the air as the kids process on in with us. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us join together in our prayer of the day and, and pray that the children find their parents. Amen? Amen? Let us pray. Everlasting God, in your endless love for the human race, you sent our Lord Jesus Christ to take on our nature and to suffer death on the cross 
In your mercy, enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite you to remain standing as we join together in the Holy Gospel today. The Holy Gospel comes to us today from the book of Mark. Glory to you, O Lord, indeed. Mark chapter 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord needs it, and we'll send it back here shortly. They went and they found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, What are you doing, untying that colt? They answered, As Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches that they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The word of the Lord. Hosanna! Hosanna! Hosanna in the highest. You may be seated. As we do this cantata, please follow along on the screens uh, so you can read the story that we're giving to you and listen to our narrators as we tell this story that ultimately leads to the cross on Easter Sunday.
The cross is a symbol that can be seen all over the world. It is not only a symbol of Christianity, but God's enormous love and compassion for us. Sin separates us from God, but we are all sinners, and according to the Bible, the payment for sin is death. But God's love for us is so great that he had a plan to overcome sin and death. He sent his son Jesus to pay the price for us. He took our punishment himself. Jesus suffered a cruelest of punishment, but punishments. He was tortured and nailed to a cross. Colossians 2 tells us that he has taken sin away, nailing it to the cross. For God so loved the world that includes you that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. paid the ultimate price for us. He gave his life so that we could live. In the Old Testament, a sacrifice had to be made as payment for sin. A lamb was killed and blood was shed. But Jesus sacrificed his 
own life so to pay for all the sin he for all of our sin he poured out his blood Jesus died on that cross just like God planned but that was not the end of the story God conquered sin and death he raised Jesus from the dead that is the reason we sing that is the reason we celebrate he died so we could have eternal life with him because he lives we have a firm foundation that we can build our lives on Revelation chapter 19, verse 6. Hallelujah, for our Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah is a word that has been used by Christians for centuries. It's a combination of two Hebrew words. Hallel means to praise or adore God deeply. Yah is the Hebrew word for God. So hallelujah truly means to deeply praise God with ador adoration, joy, and thanksgiving. Jesus' blood paid the price for our sin. That definitely deserves adoration, thanksgiving, and joy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
It is finished. The power of, this, of sin is overcome. Death has been defeated. He is alive. God's love is so great that he paid the ultimate price for us. He paid it all on the cross of Christ. Give them a round of applause as we already are. And thank you so much, you guys. So our children, their song, their words, the narration, it brings us again to that cross that we come to this week. We join Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. We head to the cross. And of course, our week brings us to the empty tomb. So thank you again, guys. Rod, thank you, musicians. Thank you so much. I invite all who are able, let us rise together, let us join in our hymn of the day, O Sacred Head Now Wounded, number 351.
does thy face now languish, which once was bright as morn? Thy grief and bitter passion were all for sinners' gain. Mine, mine was the transgression, but thine the deadly profess our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated at this time. Our ushers will come around with the offering plates. It's our opportunity to give back what God has first given us.
Please rise. Thank you. Let the vineyards be fruitful, Lord, and fill to the brim our cup of blessing. Gather a harvest from the seeds that were sown, that we may be fed with the bread of life. Gather the hopes and dreams of all, unite them with the prayers we offer. Grace our table with your presence, and give us a foretaste of the feast to come. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we offer with joy and thanksgiving what you have first given us ourselves, our time, and our possessions, signs of your gracious love. Receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. With the whole people of God in Christ Jesus, let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of God's creation. Gracious God, as we come to those pathways, as we come with our branches high, as we shout the words, Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest, gracious Lord. We pray for all of humanity that will turn from you here in these next couple days, gracious God. Forgive us, heal us, renew us, give us your words of mercy as you have promised. As have the words that have been declared by the kids that we will meet you at the cross, gracious God. We give thanks for your mercy, we give thanks for your triumph, we give thanks for you, the King of Kings, Lord, in your mercy. And gracious God, we pray for our community and the church abroad on this day. We pray for those that are out amongst the roads. We pray for safe travels home from this space here this morning. We pray for those who must travel in these coming days, gracious God. We pray for those like our highway patrol and emergency first responders and others that will be working amongst this blizzard. Gracious God, we pray for our kids. We pray for our teachers. We pray for our youth this week who... Even though they walk through the fluctuation of this week and the exhaustion, gracious God, we pray for this holy week, this holiest of weeks, gracious Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Gracious God, we pray for the church across this world. As Christians gather this week to be reminded that, that death does not triumph, gracious God. We pray that all Christians, no matter the backgrounds and the situations, the context that they live in, that your triumph will, will reign over all things. Gracious God, we pray for our government, we pray for all authorities, we pray for those who make decisions on our behalf. Give them your guidance, your wisdom, and compassion, Lord, in your mercy. Gracious God, we especially lift up today those in our hearts and in our minds who we know need your strength and presence during their great time of need. We continue to pray for Dwayne Prince and the people, uh, his neighbors in the Hayes community, walk with him in his trial and tribulation with his health. We pray for Sharon Caldwell as she too, Lord, as she receives comfort and care. We continue to pray for the Hupp family as Miles continues in his treatments. Give them courage and peace, Lord. And gracious God, we lift up the families who are mourning this week. We pray for the families of Kenneth uh, Stoferon and Keith Skrondal. We pray that they remember your resurrection promises as they mourn. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. All of these prayers, gracious God, we lift up to you on this Palm Sunday, and we lift them up to you, and we are reminded by the prayer you first taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. One quick announcement before we have the doxology. Uh, Just, uh, again, a thank you to the kids. Thank you to the musicians. Let's give them one more round of applause. And if any, if any of the other kids of the youth are inspired, uh, reach out uh, to Mr. Bauk at any time. He'd gladly broaden that group of kids. Um, it's, it's a joy and a privilege to watch them grow 
and their strength and confidence in using the gifts God gave them. Uh, shortly here, we will depart, but again, there are plenty of caramel rolls, cinnamon rolls out in the narthex. Please eat them, and of course, we'll continue with the education hour as well. Safe travels to you, but let us finish with our blessing. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Join us. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Dark Gethsemane, number 347.
Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to This concludes our Sunday morning's worship service from Lutheran Memorial Church in Pierre. On this Holy Week, we have special worship services on Monday, Thursday. Well, first of all, there will be no worship service on Wednesday evening, but instead on Monday, Thursday, there'll be a worship at 7 p.m. with a supper preceding at 5 o'clock in our fellowship hall. On Good Friday, there'll be a worship service at 7 p.m. And on Easter Sunday, there are worship services at 8.30 and 10.30. If you're unable to attend any of our worship services, you're invited to tune in to our live radio broadcast each Sunday morning here on KGFX 1060 AM or 103.1 FM, or just go to drgnews.com and click on Listen Live. Sunday and Wednesday services are also live streamed on our LMC Facebook page, and you can catch our sermon podcast on an app of your choice or right on our website under the Media tab. Special thanks this morning to Jalen Schmitz for sponsoring this morning's radio broadcast in honor of her and her husband Chad's ninth wedding anniversary. Our wa- radio broadcast to realign financial support from members of Lutheran Memorial Church and other regular listeners and viewers. If you'd like to sponsor a radio broadcast in honor of a special occasion or in memory of a loved one, just contact our church office at 224-8608. So now on behalf of Pastor Craig Wexler and the congregation here at Lutheran Memorial, We extend our prayers to you and yours for God's care and guidance throughout this coming week.